Hi there, Linda Nenna here, embodiment for sensitive people. Ah, it's been a while since I recorded anything. I've been live a few times. Um, I had a, a big launch of my Being You program that is, it's now off the ground and that feels, oh, it feels great. Um, something I've I've worked on for a long time and I've really looked forward to um, beginning and sharing the program and I've also had I'm also in kind of a I don't know identity crisis mode or something um, I'm noticing myself um slipping into um how should i say it like an old pattern of uh, of expressing myself uh which i call it's like my my spiritual <laughs> the spiritual person in me that uh was uh, created uh, a long time ago and she was uh, she was very present and alive in me for years until I, <laughs> I until I realized and started to notice that uh, who is this woman with the ah the soft and sweet voice that uh, always keeps herself in check and calm <sighs> And uh, as I've been, uh, as I've been sitting with that part of myself, I can feel that there is a, how should I say, like the authentic voice of me is emerging and it's coming out. And then I can feel how it kind of <laughs> slips back in. And um, anyone, if you've ever felt that that sort of uh, mm, feeling of hiding yourself in order to fit in or uh, to appear in a certain way um, and then maybe started playing with allowing your oh, more authentic expression and voice to come through you've probably experienced this that there is kind of a a stepping back and then ah, emerging back out and stepping back. So I'm really, this is whoa, the phase that I'm in. It's, it's this um, mm, almost like I'm, I'm exploring more and more to show up uh, in my dynamic and expressive self. And then sometimes allow myself to slip back in uh, and uh, mm, kind of just hold and care for that that part of myself that <clears throat> that really feels that it's oh my god, is it really safe to be to be this this person? Is it safe? Um, so it's almost like an unfolding. And then slightly folding back in, unfolding and folding back in. Um, and I had a, I was participating in a, in a session with a woman named Susan Aposhian, who is like, uh, I don't know, she's been in the, in the somatics embodiment game, I think since the early seventies. So probably 10 years before I was even born. Um, and we were playing with this uh, embodied voice. And I could, it's, it's almost like I can feel how it's, how it's kind of arising from deep within my belly. But then there's this mm, moment of, uh, I want to say, fear because I don't know what's gonna come out 
it's it's not the the thought through ideas and it's not the things that i've been taught to say uh, it's just i don't know whatever kind of slips out in the moment and and that can be even though it's it's such a strange thing because even though that voice that expression feels so familiar it feels so familiar and it feels so easeful and in flow and just being in the moment and it feels like ah oh, oh this is me this is me coming through this is ah oh, the fullness of me speaking so even if it feels like that it's also extremely unfamiliar and i've been really like what is it why is it how can it be both familiar and unfamiliar at the same time and i'm realizing that the unfamiliarity comes out of that it's never been mirrored back at me so so if i'm like that that part of me that that wants to um so what I, i'm calling it like my 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 spiritual self who is calm and together and speaking with a certain like a, a very uh soft voice and da, 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 da. that feels i mean and when i do it i can feel my throat tightening it feels my body is not familiar with that even though it's been doing it for a long time it doesn't feel it doesn't feel familiar but in a way it's familiar because it's what's been for many many years what's been mirrored back at me i'm sure you know what i'm talking about uh it's the yoga teacher voice uh and it's so since i've been in these in the in that area it's like i can i can recognize that but my own voice my own expression what is like ah oh, my body just oh my god this is this is juicy i know this this oh i feel this is me that becomes unfamiliar because it's never been uh, mirrored back at me and really it can never be mirrored back at me in its fullness because it's unique it's unique to this body to this human to 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 the life experiences that i've had so the same is for you like your uh, embodied expression and or your embodied voice whether it is through through sounds or facial expressions or gestures or body expressions when you when you feel it and i'm sure you've had at some point in life it feels familiar but it can never be mirrored back at you because it's it's that you it's the unique flavor of you the unique flavor of you that has never been before and it will never be repeated people can uh maybe pretend but it won't be that 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 exact like the same uh, it will never be the same flavor ah it feels good it feels good to express from that place within it feels good it's so ah ah and that is kind of my that is my my just hope and wish for all sensitive humans because i have this um experience from working with sensitive people and being a sensitive person myself that we have so much life energy in our bodies it's like since we can take in so much and we feel so much then there is so much to be expressed um so much that wants to be expressed um 
but it's 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 not an always a, it's not a straightforward <laughs> that not necessarily easy it doesn't have to be difficult but it takes time it takes time to get to that place and um, and what has been for me that one of the most supportive uh, uh, practices and realizations has been to begin with building a supportive foundation for myself and all the parts of myself that have ideas of who who and how I should be that that supportive foundation where I feel ah oh, my needs are met I know how to meet my own needs I feel resourced I I'm sort of navigating towards and constantly nurturing a sense of safety in my own body and that that kind of so the supportive foundation that that then uh, it's like the the nutrient soil that that the embodied <laughs> the embodied self or the embodied voice can oh, feel that oh, I have something that holds me up mm. So if you want to come and explore how how do we be begin to build that supportive foundation for ourselves, I'm offering an online weekend retreat in October on the 15th and 16th of October. Um, supportive foundation weekend uh, for sensitive humans or any human that feels that ah oh, I want I want that I want to feel held i want to feel held in life in my everyday life mm. <sighs> okay it feels good it feels good to be here it feels good to speak to you it feels good to share from this place within me that feels uh, honest and authentic and real and ah <sighs> Mm. Yes. Okay. Much love to you.